Hello and welcome to today's session on how to use the VEX V5 optical and distance sensor. Over the coming months, I'm going to be showing you how you can program your robot in C++ using VEX code V5 Pro and how you can also program your robot in Python and block-based coding. Over the coming months, we are going to be exploring the other sensors, which include the rotation, inertial, the vision, and also the GPS sensor in a variety of languages. And probably the most powerful thing for teams this year is how can we use these sensors together to create good autonomous programs? Now, in today's video, we are going to be focusing on the roller for the VEX V5 spin-up competition. We are going to be using the distance sensor to detect how far the robot is away from the roller and when it can identify or how it can identify the correct hue range in degrees so it knows whether it is looking at red or blue. Now, let's get started with today's video. Any questions which you do have, drop me a message underneath this video and let me know if you want access to this program. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to today's session on how to use the VEX V5 distance sensor and the VEX V5 optical sensor for the spin-up competition. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are going to be recording lots of videos on programming this season to try to help teams with the autonomous aspect of the competition. Now in videos coming out in the next couple of months, we are going to be looking at both optical and distance in Block, Python and also using C++ in VEX Code Pro. And we're also going to be looking at the rotation sensor, inertial sensor, vision sensor, and also the GPS sensor. But to get started with today, and as a nice introduction, we are going to be using the block-based programming. And we are going to create a program that allows us to use multiple sensors together. Now, over here, you're going to be able to see our robot for the spin-up competition. And we are going to be focusing on these rollers today. Now, where my mouse is hovering at the moment, this wheel is going to allow us to rotate this roller. And the conditions which we are setting today is going to be when the distance sensor is within range and the optical sensor can detect a particular color, we want it to roll the roller so we can either get it to be red or blue. Now, before we actually get started with this, I want to look at the type of things that we're actually able to configure inside the optical and distance sensor. So both of these knowledge-based articles are underneath this video. The optical sensor looks very, very similar to the distance sensor, but we can see there is a difference because the window at the front of the distance sensor is smaller in comparison to the optical sensor. Now, scrolling down in the knowledge base article for the optical sensor here, we are able to detect these different things here. So number one, we can set if it sees an object, true or false. We are able to detect colors. So can it see red, green, blue, yellow? But probably the most powerful thing here is the hue of a color in degrees. And that means instead of just setting it to a red or a blue, in our case for spin-up, we can set a particular range of colors for red. So when it is 50 millimeters away and when it is 20 millimeters away, we can set a min and max range of colors. Now, the other powerful thing about this sensor and what we are going to be using it for today is we're actually going to create some ambient light. and we're not using this to create artificial light in the room. We are turning on the light on the front of the optical sensor to see if the sensor aligns correctly with the roller. Now, I recorded this video earlier today. And as you can see here, when I press play, the lights are on. And we're just making sure, does the sensor align properly with the roller? So this is an excellent use of using the LED lights on the optical sensor. And that's just making sure that do our sensor positions align correctly? And can they in fact see the roller? But as I also said, you can use this to also create 
ambient light in the room, if the room is too dark, or if you need to use artificial light. Now, moving on to our distance sensor, what we are going to be using our distance sensor for is to look at how far is our sensor away from that roller. So we can identify a range of up to 2,000 millimetres and a minimum range of 20 millimetres. We can also see if it can detect objects. We can ask the robot to identify the size of an object. But also we can see how quickly the sensor is approaching an object by measuring the velocity in metres per second. Now, you can do a bit more research into both of these sensors if you want to find out anything else which I have not covered here. Now, we are going to move on to the programming of both of these sensors. Now, what I would recommend you do at the beginning is set up a program which is using a controller. So, rather than trying to chase the robot around the field and look at what the sensor is actually able to measure here, I have added in both my optical and distance sensor with a controller-based program. And what I am doing here is I'm printing out the sensor values into our console window. And this is how I have configured both the optical and the distance sensor to identify the roller. Now, just to show you what I mean here, I'm going to press on run in my program. I'm going to bring up the video of the robot and what you're going to be able to see here is as I turn the robot these values are in fact going to change and as a programmer what this is going to allow me to do is identify what the range should be when the sensors are close to that roller and this is working for both distance and also hue in degrees. So when you're configuring these, and for me and also for our teams as well, it is much, 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 much easier to use a drive-based program, look at the sensor values which you potentially need, look at what those min and max values are, make a note of them, and then take them over to your autonomous program. Now, just to back up for a minute, when I do turn the robot around, you'll be able to see we're getting a very, very bright light from our optical sensor, we have in fact turned the light on. This is default, or the default value for this is 50%. And we are also using our optical sensor in color mode. Now, if you want to print out these values in your console window, there is one trick here in order to get this to work. Number one, you print out into console instead of brain or controller but you have to use the set cursor to next row in console in order to see these values. If you do not use this block, you're not going to see any print statements inside here. And I have set a delay at 0.5 seconds just so we can slow down the values which are being output here. Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to move over to an autonomous program which I have set up. And this is being used in conjunction with broadcast blocks here. So first of all, uh, I have set some variables at the beginning of my program. And I set a dist in range. So we're going to say while the dist in range is 368 or less, and while the optical is between 70 and 90, now, what we are using here is nested if statements. And really what we want the robot to do is once we're able to identify the optical values which are between 70 and 90, and if the distance is less than 368, we're going to broadcast this block over here or this set of instructions. We're gonna tell the robot drivetrain that it has to stop driving and we want to turn the wheel on or our roller on so we can try to rotate the roller for the spin-up competition. Now, it's only going to turn on that wheel and stop driving if both of these conditions here are true. Now, if only one of them is true, and what I mean is if our optical range is within the correct range, so between 70 and 90, 
But if a distance is not less than 368, we are going to get the robot to continue to drive forward until the distance is within that correct range. Inside our else statement here, if it is outside of the range of, I think it's 2000 millimeters, or if it is less than 20 millimeters, we're just going to have a print statement that says distance, you can see it's spelling error there, and this is going to be out of range. Now, the next part of our program here, if our optical sensor is out of range, and that means if it is less than the minimum value or greater than the maximum value, we want it to output optical is out of range, and we're going to get it to drive in reverse. And the last thing which we have here is an else statement, which is going to print none of the above statements are true. That means both optical is out of range and also distance is out of range. Now, in order to test this program, what I am going to do is I am just going to realign the robot so it is in front of the roller. Now that we have realigned the robot and it is a good distance away, what we are going to do here is we are going to press on run and we are going to have a look at what the robot does. So I'm going to press run. And what we should be able to see here is the robot is driving relatively close to our roller here. We want it to be able to identify if it's within the correct range and if it is able to identify the hue in degrees based on the values which we have set. Now, I'm going to stop the program from running right now and just bring up this window again. So just to demonstrate how our program is working here, it isn't close enough to the roller at the moment, but what we have been able to identify is that both of these conditions are true. Our distance is less than 368 millimeters, and the optical values are within the range that we have set. So a minimum of 70 and a range of 90. Now, what you would need to do, and what our teams now need to do, is adjust these values so the robot can move closer because it's too far away right now. So that means our distance value is going to have to change, and also the hue colors are also going to have to change here. Now, what I'm going to explore with you is what are the perfect ranges for our robot today. So I'm going to download my drive program again, just so I don't need to run around the field and chase our robot. I am going to get the robot to drive closer to the roller. And our values would probably have to change so the wheel is aligned correctly with the roller. So our hue in degrees should be around 20. And if I move it back a little bit, so probably between 15 and 22, this range looks good. And our distance would have to be probably less than 32. And once a robot is hooked and up against this roller, we would then be able to get that wheel to rotate. Now, I do hope that what we have gone through today on how to set up both the optical sensor and the distance sensor has helped you to understand how to configure both of these sensors. I do hope that you can see the benefit of setting up a drive-based program and actually looking at the sensor values instead of chasing the robot around the field. And hopefully you can see how you can use multiple sensors together and also use our broadcast block to simplify what this program looks like and to set what's happening when each of these conditions are true or false. Now, if you want to convert this over to C++ or Python, or if you want access to the program, which I'm demonstrating here, do drop me a message underneath this video you can convert this automatically using these options at the bottom here, and you can then import this code into VexCode Pro. All you need to do is press on Convert to Text Project. 
Now, looking forward to bringing you more exciting videos on programming this season, and thank you for watching today's video, and remember to subscribe.